breaking this morning. We are getting the first sign that runaway inflation may have peaked. Consumer prices in April are up 8.3% from a year ago. The bad news is that is still wildly high, and it's higher than what economists expected. But it is a step down from last month's four-decade record of 8.5%. Americans in April actually experienced a little relief in energy and gas prices from March. But year over year, the increases are still staggering. Energy prices continue to fuel inflation up 30 percent from a year ago. Gas prices in April down 6 percent month over month, but still up nearly 44 percent on the year. And we just hit another gas price record today. And groceries are still 11 percent higher than last year. Ahead of these latest numbers, President Joe Biden went on defense, blaming COVID-induced supply chain issues and now Russia's war in Ukraine for price hikes. Republicans, meanwhile, call it Bidenflation and say his government policies and spending are the cause. Some of the roots of the inflation are outside of our control, to state the obvious. But there are things we can do and we can address and we need to do. That starts with the Federal Reserve. The Fed has now twice raised its benchmark interest rate to cool economic demand, and fears it could become more aggressive in curbing inflation is what had markets selling off this past week. In New York for Just Business, I'm Simone Del Rosario.